the 10 most accurate predictions that I made about the 2023 MLB season. It feels good to be right. I made these back in March, right before the season started. At number 10, I said Emmanuel Class A would lead the American League in saves. We're in the final week of the season and he's first in baseball. At nine, I said the Atlanta Braves would win the most games with 104. They've got six games left in their 100 wins lead MLB. At eight, I said three MLB players would steal 50 plus bases. And we've got three MLB players with 50 plus stolen bases. At the time, this was sort of bold because the season before the most stolen bases any player had was 41. But with the rule changes, I figured we'd see a lot more stolen bases. At seven, Shohei Otani wins American League MVP. And he does that with 40 home runs as a hitter and 200 strikeouts as a pitcher. He hit 44 home runs. And his season was cut short due to injury, but he was at 167 strikeouts, he definitely would have gotten a 200. And he is definitely going to win MVP. At 6, Dylan Cease posts an ERA over 4. His ERA is 466 after posting a 220 the season before. Everything went right last season, and this year a lot of things went wrong. I saw this regression coming. At 5, Cody Bellinger will be the National League Comeback Player of the Year. I was a believer that Cody Bellinger just needed a change of scenery, but I'll be honest, I never expected him to be quite this good. At 4, Gunnar Henderson and Corbin Carroll will win Rookie of the Year. They've both been incredible and they've definitely locked up these awards. At three, five players will finish with a 330 or better batting average. Not one player last year batted 330, and this season we have four, and then we have one player batting 328. The rule changes likely contributed to this. At number two, Corbin Carroll will finish with 20 home runs and 50 stolen bases. After not one player last season had 50 stolen bases, this was extremely bold, and especially for a rookie. Well, with 25 home runs and 51 stolen bases, this prediction feels pretty good. And my best prediction, Ronald Acuna will be the first member of the 40-50 club. This would include being the National League leader in stolen bases. Acuna was injured last year, I believe, in a massive bounce back season, and he delivered. And his stolen bases far exceeded expectations. If only I didn't pick him to come in second place in MVP voting. But we'll talk about my wrong predictions in my next post.